Howdy, fellow hunters. How's it going? Now, a sharp-witted young guy pointed out on my previous video that they're not the Basset, they're the Bastard. Well, how did he figure that out? I have no idea. Anyway, I'm not one to begrudge a correction, so when I saw the mistake, I went over to his place and apologized to him repeatedly and repeatedly, because that's just the kind of humble guy that I am. Now, we're going to look at some more changing breeds. And, oh, we're coming to one of my favorites, the Corax. The Corax were ravens, cunning information gatherers. Basically, their compulsion to go from place to place, always spying, always figuring things out, and always spouting so that they can't stop it when they find out the secret well no would, oh did you know that this person happened to be sleeping with that person who was a servant of the worm and this uh, they meant a vampire elder dragon legend and the end of the world explosion if i tell you any of this so please don't pass it on anyway they have the compulsion to find out stuff and to spread it now of course they're not complete idiots they spread it more to their allies the other changing breeds more or less allies but they have to pass it on, and I'm pretty sure that if you could capture a Korax and just put it in a cell with just you and nobody else and just wait, eventually you're going to hear everything. But yes, so they're somewhat discreet, they're very good spies, very good information brokers, and they have to spill the beans compulsively. They transform into ravens, they spy, they use the internet because they're kind of more modern uh, than most of the changing breeds. and. Now, they're not very strong in combat, and they're always pretty solitary. Except for some sneaky operations they sometimes do, and they try and pull pranks on people. And this is something that I just approve of. They're, my pranks tend to be a bit more murderous than theirs, but... Ah, who are we to judge? So, you'd think Korax, okay, they're solitary, they're weak, so you just need to come swinging at them with your mortars and... Your bang, uh, your gangs. Yeah, that could work, but it's not very fun. You can do things like that with the guru, because the guru are just so overpowered that there's no way that it could be unfair. But with the Korax, I prefer to try and do a more subtle approach. Let's see if we could try and beat them at their own game. Drop clues, cryptic clues, leave trails. Red herrings and diversions that they can see through if they put their mind to, and they will put their mind to it. And then eventually trap them just in the right location, just when they think their lover is captured, about to die. And, uh, I don't know, they have to sacrifice their love for that person to save their lover. Maybe sleep with someone else to get information. You know, something amusing, something interesting, something that would make a good story. They like stories. And then, when you've got them, when you have completely humiliated them, skewer them and write that story. Don't worry. Their companions will find them, and they'll spread the knowledge of what happened there. And that'll make your next encounter with them more challenging. Hence, more interesting. Oh, yes, interesting facts. Koraks are immune to silver. Hmm. I tried once. Silver had no effect on them. So I tied her down and tried everything. Brass, bronze. Oh, no, and it worked. Gold. Koraks react to gold like other changing breeds react to silver. Now... So they're connected with the sun. Maybe that's why they're so into spying and getting information out. Now, Koraks have one crucial advantage, because gold ain't the same thing as silver. It's about a hundred times as expensive, at least. So, and since Koraks are so weak anyway, you can probably just save a lot of money and go with explosive uh, napalm grenades rather than gold bullets. But, I'll leave that to your judgment. And now, we have another challenge, another solitary one, the Gural, the Were-Bears. 
they're attuned with healing. You know the, the stereotypes about the Native American wisdom and stuff like that. Um, take a bunch of them and just drop them on the girl and they'll work. They're pretty much that. They are the wise savage. Um, and they go around, they heal things, they heal the world in a very hippie way, but it actually works, so maybe less hippie than that. Um, and they've been said that they can resurrect the dead. I've never actually seen this. But in their Krinos and their battle form, they are fearsome in be indeed. So this is this ain't the Korax here. There's no fighting fair against them. They are real monsters and they are so hard to take down. So much layers of, I don't know what it is, armor. You can just hack at them for days. Not literally, but felt like days at the time. And they would just not go down. But anyway, they do go down eventually. And a warning here, it's easy to underestimate them. But I say it's easy to underestimate monsters who can turn into bears and uh, blow you up uh, with their, their claws and are immune to most damages and heal themselves and to talk with spirits. Yes, because, as I said, they're solitary. So you might think that it is just one clever human mind and human technology against a primitive savage of the most stereotypical kind. But... Unlike the guru, they're clever. They think. They might be slow, but they're also cautious. Think glass walker type guru, except less in tune with the internet and more just careful. Yet yeah, these are not so easy, and they're uh, to take down. And their solitary nature is more feature of their jobs. They go to do something on their own, but they sort of stay in contact. So you might think, ah, oh, just got one, I'm fine, and word will get around somehow. So yes, be careful. Winter, better time to there. They have a sort of hibernation instinct. Um, put all the other, yeah, silver still works, massive amounts of silver. Yes, they can still rage and sort of swipe you 10 times in the half a second. But, remember when fighting them, failure is not an option. Well, it is an option, but it's not one that'll last for any length of time. So yes, get them, and maybe you can try and sneak the secret of immortality out of them. No, not immortality, resurrecting the dead, even more cool. I have quite a lot of people I'd like to bring back, and then maybe have a few chats with. Anyway... That is the introduction to fighting the Korax and the Goral. Until next week, and yes, I invite many to continue correcting my terminology and turn to phrase, and will show my gratitude to any who do. Speak later. <laughs>